throw it around and it'll be intact when I open it. Shipping, when you're learning how to resell, is one of the most confusing parts of the learning process. If you sell clothing, it's really not that hard. There's really only five methods that you need to know. You need some kind of basic poly mailer for first class, the flat rate envelope, the cardboard one, the padded flat rate envelope, the Tyvek mailing envelope, and finally you'll need some kind of just normal larger cardboard box like this Amazon box. All of this except for the poly mailers for the first class mail you can get for free. This is just a flimsy poly mailer. I bought them in a pack of a thousand for like 50 bucks. So anything 15 ounces or under, you can just put in one of these naked and ship out. That's how I do it. A lot of people use the clear poly bags. I don't anymore. Ever since I pivoted away from using them, I suffered zero negative consequences. Let's assume that you're selling a shirt with buttons or zippers, something fragile. You don't need to add extra padding to it. Just fold it face up like this so all the fragile stuff is folded in on the inside. So fold the arms in like this, fold over, fold over, up in half, up again, and now all those buttons are well enough protected. Put it in like this. And then slap the shipping label on top and you're done. If you're shipping out something that's pretty valuable, like this is a Brioni shirt and you're squeamish about just putting it raw into the uh, poly mailer unprotected, what I recommend doing is using tissue paper. It's dirt cheap and it does a better job of protecting it than you think. It's pretty durable. So just put it in the middle, fold it like this piece of tape. You're just wrapping it like you would any Christmas present. And like that, and like that. I actually think this is a little bit more impressive in terms of customer service than just shoving it in a poly bag. And I'll show you. I mean, you can, you can beat the hell out of this, throw it around, and it'll be intact when I open it. You take it out, still perfectly intact. This tissue paper is essentially weightless, so if you use this in place of a poly bag, you will not incur additional shipping charges. Even 0.1 ounces can tip you over the edge into needing to pay a higher price bracket for shipping. The next is the flat rate envelope. This is cheaper than the padded flat rate. You can fit anything of any weight in here, and as long as it seals, you are free to ship it at the flat rate cost. So whenever possible, I ship priority mail stuff in this. This will fit the majority of jeans. So the way that I do it, fold them like this, fold this little butt triangle in, up, one third, one third, slide in, and this is gonna fit just fine. When you're folding this part over, it wants to fold here, that's where the crease is. Typically, I will kind of use my fingers to pull this in and then I'll fold down here, right at this seam, lower down than where the fold line is. A trick that I've learned that works fairly well is once you've created a little crease there, just use the hard surface that you're shipping on to fold this over and then use the flat surface and the weight of the package to press it down and it does a fairly good job. I would not rely on the glue that comes on this to remain glued. So every time that I use one of these, I pull off a length of packing tape and put it down like that. I can take this thermal label and put it over the flap like that. So it's just another little layer of adhesion there. Even if it's all bulbous and craggy and awkward, still go with this over the padded flat rate if you can get away with it because it is cheaper enough to where you want to use this whenever possible. Everything that you can't fit in there, the next best thing is to use one of these padded flat rate envelopes. These expand out more so you can fit bulkier sweaters, bulkier jeans. These you cannot as easily just pick up in person at the post office. You need to order these online. You can create a free account on the USPS website and they will send you free of charge whatever shipping supplies for priority mail that you you want. So this is a fairly large pair of men's jeans. Basically, you wanna try to fold it 
tidily, but if you can't get away with it, just fold and refold until you get it dense enough that it'll fit in. And then once you do get it in, uh, I promise you it is fine, as long as it's not something super fragile, to kind of smash and mash your way to where it can fold over and adhere. But thankfully this is gonna fit. It is nice to have it nicely folded. You wanna avoid balling the thing up and smashing it in. You want it to look semi-professional at least. When you get to this point, usually it's good to take your fingers and push that in like that before you grab it in the middle here. I just push down in the middle and then I'll pull over here, pull over here. This glue will hold better than the cardboard, but usually a piece of tape on there. Next is this. It's the Tyvek mailing envelope, the EP14 for easier reference. These I use to ship anything that is too bulky to fit in one of those flat rate envelopes. It is more expensive than the flat rate envelopes, but it is usually significantly cheaper than using the flat rate boxes, and usually, for the most part, actually cheaper than using the regional rate boxes. This is how to use PirateShip.com to get the priority cubic shipping rate, which is the cheapest priority shipping that you can get, other than the flat rate envelopes. This is PirateShip.com. Sign up for an account, it's free. I'm not gonna show you the other pages because it shows sensitive information. You can import your orders from reselling platforms like eBay. So instead of box or rigid packaging, you select envelope. You input the dimensions of the envelope that you're shipping in, not the final packaged package. You don't even have to measure this. If you can see it, it's 15 by 12 or 15 by 11.625. I just do 15 length, 12 width, and then I would weigh it. Let's say it's two pounds, five ounces, get rates. It's going to Tennessee from California and it's 9.93. You are not gonna get a cheaper priority rate than 9.93 for this package at two and a half pounds. This is what I use for almost all of my Poshmark orders. The way that I really like to use these is for shipping bulky stuff like suits. So this is a two piece suit. It's actually a fairly large suit. I do like to button them up first. So again, lay it face up. Take the pants, fold them just like you fold the jeans, but fold them only in half. So take them down, take the butt triangle in, in half. Take the waistband down, and then you wanna put it flush against the hem of the jacket in the bottom right corner. And then you fold it like you do a shirt. Sleeves over, take this part here, fold it down, fold it lengthwise in half, and then sometimes you can just fold it in half from here. I'm gonna fold this into thirds. So boom, boom, and then you have a nice compact little thing. Now, you could just remove this strip and self it here and it would probably arrive just fine. What I like to do, since these are free, is to not seal this one, leave it like this, take a second one, fold these corners in a little bit, and double bag it. This is double bagged. Now take it like this, same as with the padded flat rate, seal it, tape, that is very secure. That is every bit as protected as if it shipped out in a cardboard box. I actually am of the opinion that this is better protection because it's two layers, it's more waterproof, and I have never once had an issue of a damaged package or a dissatisfied buyer when I ship a suit like this. A package will qualify for the priority cubic rate if it's under 20 pounds and also under half a foot in cubic volume. So there is a little bit of a margin between that Tyvek envelope and those dimensions. So you may consider buying a slightly larger poly bag for the handful of items where it will qualify for priority cubic, but you can't ship them in the Tyvek envelope. That's not super common though. If your piece of clothing cannot ship priority cubic, I recommend shipping it in just a standard cardboard box. Really important that you set your listing as shipping either FedEx Smart Post or UPS Ground in the first place. Honorable mention to the large flat rate box. Nice to have a couple of these on hand. 
in case you mess up and neglect to set one of your larger clothing pieces to FedEx or UPS. Because that, even though it's fairly expensive, is gonna be still cheaper than if you have to put the thing in one of these boxes and ship that out to standard priority rate. Those methods will cover, I would say, 90, 95% of all of your shipping needs. There may be freak incidences where you have to use a different method, but that's almost all of the packages that I send out.